The purpose of this video is to provide an educational perspective in the categories of mathematics, computer science, and cellular automata. It is not intended to be a rating or advertisement for any products, but a general scientific criticism. Thus, I decided that it would be categorized as an educational rather than gaming video. Turing complete. The phrase that everyone asks about any time it appears in Minecraft talks. You'll see it on your splash screen and wonder, what does this mean? Did Notch talk about it one time? What makes it so significant? Well, anyone who really wants to know can just look it up on Wikipedia, but it might be difficult for the average person to ex understand exactly what it means. Let's begin with the name. When the words algorithm and computation became formalized, and equivalents for those terms were found and proven, which resulted in deeply philosophical realization that a general completeness was dis discovered in problem solving. This completeness was first modeled by Alan Turing with a Turing machine, a theoretical machine which consists of sufficient finite state machine and unbounded memory. Anyone who has studied the proofs that build up to this knows that they are necessarily element, necessary elements for Turing completeness or computational equivalency. Because the definition consists of syntax, syntactic absolute proofs heavily involving concepts like finite versus infinite, since an unbounded computation is required for some problems to be solved, such as recursively numerable languages, is seen as the outermost set of a simplified Chomsky's hierarchy. Matthew Cook from the University of Illinois proved Stephen Wolfram's Rule 110 for a one-dimensional cellular automata model. Here's a proof showing that this simple set of eight rules involving no more than three ones and zeros for a string at once is actually Turing complete. This literally means that any algorithm or computable question asked can be answered simply by running the correct finite starting state and applying these eight rules over and over again. After enough time, one can develop a machine to take the square root of given numbers, take the derivative of the calculus problem, run any given software program, or even simulate a human's neural network with a simple set of rules. In fact, these black and white squares have the potential to do anything your computer can do, the only catch being that simulating these rules with a physical machine would become redundant and you would probably want to build more user-friendly input and output. Famous mathematician named Conway and his friends discovered a two-dimensional set of rules that were proven to be Turing complete as a universal Turing machine was created with this, the game environment. This means no matter what your ideal Turing machine needs to do, it can be encoded and inputted into this universal Turing machine which can simulate it respectively. A universal machine means seems to be the hello world of the cellular automata world. It's an easy way to prove that a set of rules is Turing complete. When it comes to practical machines and software, most of the time things are not Turing complete. Computers don't have infinite memory, and even if you assumed they did, software doesn't usually assume that its index variables and counters point to unbounded memory. Unbounded variables such as big integer class and Java may be used, but these classes are rarely used in, mo in most practical cases. Thus, the hardware running the rules, and not only the hardware, isn't considered. While running Conway's Game of Life, the computer simulating the game with the software simulation does not need to be truly Turing complete for memory and indexing reasons, but the game itself does need to be Turing complete in concept. So given the set of rules, Conway Game of Life is an example of a Turing complete game. So what about Minecraft? Is Minecraft Turing complete? Does it follow these rules? Well, I considered this question and searched for some way to use Minecraft mechanics to create such a contraption like a universal Turing machine. I even found videos online of Turing machines that were built in Minecraft. 
but their memory always consisted of something that was finite, like blocks being pushed by pistons that could only go so far. But for a truly Turing complete machine, this had to be extended indefinitely. I wondered if there was some sort of stack memory pattern that could be generated maybe in the world algorithm if a modification was made. Let's assume that the Minecraft world bounds are simply a result of software coordinate indexing. Is it possible to build a device which extends infinitely into the distance for unbounded memory storage? I have to note a very interesting device that does something resembles this. Um, it is called the Cobra. However, there are two problems with the mechanics coming from this idea. One problem is it is possible to push blocks out indefinitely into ungenerated chunks, but it may be impossible to retrieve them. In order to make a computationally equivalent machine using stacks as a memory device, two stacks would be required. But I don't know how to even make one using this method. And even a more significant problem comes into play. I have to give credit to Euk, uh, e -K -U -U -R -H, uh, providing a low-rated but correct answer on the Stack Exchange website after a highly rated misleading answer by someone claiming that Notch claimed Turing completeness for the game using redstone blocks, which he didn't. This is simply not true. Uh, there's an audio clip where the user posted the proof against himself. Notch was ref probably referring to the computational potential being similar to that of physical machines, which have finite but usually sufficient memory for typical tasks. I'm about to play you the clip where Notch talks about the game being Turing complete, and you'll notice that this clip actually was recorded and released before redstone blocks ever existed. Redstone. Yeah, the, the redstone dust is it's the kind of circuitry of Minecraft. Well, it's it's actually Turing complete, so you can make anything in it. There are some limit limitations because the timing is a bit weird, um, but I, I tried to intentionally make it uh, kind of, uh, so it requires a lot of space to build something complicated. Hopefully it's easy to build like an automatic lock for a house, but it's much more difficult to make like a scripted level using just those blocks. And while he may have created the game, Notch himself is pretty regularly surprised by what people are building. With the huge complicated circuitry and stuff. Even before he added the redstone, people were using water and plants and stuff like that to have actual circuitry. And so there you heard it from Notch. He made the claim that Minecraft was turning complete. Uh, this was... Uh, around the alpha stage. But this user, EKUURH, correctly pointed out how even if a machine like the Cobra could work in such a way, its mechanics relies on an infinite supply of pistons and redstone blocks, if we were to use it for memory, which cannot be replicated indefinitely except by the player, which means the player would have to be laboring as part of the computation since an unbounded memory is necessary for equivalent computations to potentially be completed. Alright, so Minecraft is not actually Turing complete, like Conway's Game of Life is, or Rule 110 is. But what would, what would it actually take to make a Minecraft Turing complete? How far would we have to go to modify the game, to change it so that the mechanics of the game are actually Turing complete. Whether it's just the mechanics themselves or the mechanics and maybe the world generation. Uh, but we wouldn't requi require the software to be Turing complete. And I thought about this question and I realized that there might be a s possible simple world generation modification uh, that would automatically generate redstone in such a way 
that something such as Conway's Game of Life or some other type of Turing machine could be simulated and access that redstone and use it as an unbounded memory stack. So I originally wanted to conclude this just by challenging the community to create a Turing complete modification to this to the game. And I would say you would have an interesting impact on the gaming community and hopefully get a lot of respect for for what you would were doing. And not only that, but you could tell Notch that you corrected his game and that he originally called Turing Complete and actually made it truly Turing Complete yourself. Now, if you were to recreate a universal Turing machine in Conway's Game of Life and simulate that in Minecraft world generation, it would probably be too large to really see anything practically on it. So you've been looking at footage of Benny's cube stack of memory, and I would have suggested to use this to make uh, the generation algorithm mod and just connect it to some kind of um, state machine, but um, we actually have vanilla Minecraft ability to make something that'll work as a stack, and that's using the command blocks. Uh, with the re most recent snapshot, uh, the 14 week uh, 02B, I believe, uh, where uh, command blocks can now clone. And if you take their cloning ability and you combine it with the teleportation ability, um, the fact that it's relative to the coordinates of the command block means that uh, you can essentially just extend it infinitely in some direction. Uh, make some kind of stack memory or tape or something using the cloning ability uh, in some kind of slightly complex device that will correctly doing do this perhaps having to use uh, something like um, a, a bud switch or something t so that the device can tell which part is the clone and which part is the original I haven't designed something like this myself yet. I've been messing around with the clone, having a little bit of fun. But I want to challenge uh, the community, anyone who can make it first, anyone who can make an actual universal Turing machine that takes advantage of all the distance of Minecraft, the entire coordinates up to however far it goes, uh, 30 million or whatever. Um, that way you are proving the Minecraft mechanics itself to be Turing complete. Um, <laughs> and then from there all we have to do is, uh, <laughs> if we want to do any better than that, we would actually have to make the software Turing complete and supposedly uh, the hardware, which probably will never happen. But uh, I'm happy if just the mechanics are Turing complete. Uh, that means Minecraft, um, if they ever want to extend it later, if it's needed to be extended, well, they can choose to do that. If not, well, they don't have to, but in the meantime, we can mess around and we can make really complicated uh, computational machines. So, good job, Mojang. You finally made a Turing Complete game whether you realize it or not, and I'm looking out for you community, thanks for watching this video, and get busy, happy hunting.